Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 861. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, you can click on the link below the video. Hey, I'm shooting this on January 18th. The downloaded workbook won't be available to the 19th or 20th. I'm kind of snowed in. All right, here we have some data. And, and this whole video is going to be about applying a conditional formatting here, building the formulas here, but then using the format painter to take it for the conditional formatting here and apply it. Now the trick is as we move the logical formulas and the conditional formatting to each column, the actual cell reference needs to change. So we're going to have to do a couple tricks here. Now the point of this is we have some data. I've calculated the average. That's the typical value. That's one value that stands in for all the values. And the standard deviation. This tells you how reliable your mean is. Now, in statistics, you could take the average 52 and subtract 13 and add 13. And you get, if it's a bell-shaped distribution, you know that about 65% of the values lie, or 68% of the values lie between that upper and lower value. So what we want to do is conditionally format. We want to add between plus or minus 1 standard deviation needs to be red, above 1 standard deviation needs to be blue, and then below standard deviation needs to be green. Now, if you don't understand the statistics of this, at least watch it and see if you can understand the mixed cell reference and logical formula part of this, because it's going to be a cool trick. We build, because it's going to be complicated, the formulas we build to create the conditional format, and we don't want to have to then go re-highlight this range here, do it again, do it again here. So it depends on the fact that you know mixed cell references. Now, let me just try this. Notice, I'll do both of these, all right? Equals average, and I'm going to highlight this. Now, I want to be able to just copy this formula over here and have the dancing ants move from here to over here. So I'm going to hit the F4 key once and twice. Lock the row reference, but not the column. Notice the A's are not locked. Control Enter. When I copy and paste it here, notice the A moved to the C. Now that's an example of how mixed cell references work. So if we build our, our logical formulas for conditional formatting with mixed cell references here, then when we copy the formatting with the format painter, it'll, it'll work on all the different ranges. Now I'm going to do the standard deviation. Now I'm going to, um, in 2010, they came out with these new functions for statistics. There's like 50 or 60 new functions. Dot S, that means for a sample. I'm going to come over here and use this because uh, maybe if you're in 2010, use this one. Otherwise, use this one, STDEV. Notice there's no S in versions 2007 and earlier, but that does mean for the sample. All right, so I highlight and then hit the F4 key twice. Lock just the row references. Now when I copy both of these, Control-C, Control-V, 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 I can see that, sure enough, I get the average and the standard deviation. All right, now, notice there's three conditional formatting. When you have three, if we want below green, you just start and apply green. Now, a lot of times you think you have to do three formulas, but um, forget that. We have the, the three formulas or conditions we're going to build will cover all data in the column. So we can just start off by applying a green. I'm going to go up to home, that green, or whatever color you want right there. And then, by default, the cells that don't get this formula and this formula coming out to be true, it'll be green. Now, let's build this one first. And we'll build our logical formula over to the side. Now, our question is, is that value right there, or is the uh, average minus the standard deviation, is that going to be less than or equal to that? And is this value right here, 45, uh, less than or equal to once, uh, the average plus one standard deviation? So we're going to try and build that here. I hope I said that right. I'm sure I'll program it right here when I do this. All right, so I want to out calculate the average first. So I'm just going to go like this. Hit the F4 key to lock it with uh, mixed cell references. And then I want to subtract from that one standard deviation. So I'm going to use that one right there. And again, the uh, 
F4 key once and twice to lock the row references, but not the column. Now that gives me the lower end. So, so whenever I'm asking the question of the cell, this value has to be greater than or equal to the lower end. And then we'll do the same calculation on the upper end, but add. So what are we going to have to do? Oh, there's two conditions. So I'm, I actually copied that. I'm going to build this inside the AND, A-N-D function. All right, so our first logical test is going to say, is the lower end less than or equal to this? And that's a relative cell reference. So that's the first condition, comma. And then we will control V, and I'm going to change this minus to a plus. Remember, this is the upper end. In essence, when you're doing a plus or minus one standard deviation, you have an upper and a lower, and you're asking the question, is this value between those? All right. So our question here is the average plus the standard deviation greater than or equal to this value right here. All right, and we, we have the equal sign. So if it's exactly one standard deviation above or below, for our, our, we have an equal sign, our comparative operators, it'll pick that up. Okay, that one's true. I'm going to double click and send it down. Now, just to show you, that formula is what we're going to copy and paste into uh, the format cell or conditional formatting dialog box. I'm going to check this last one here. It looks like it's working perfectly. But watch this. I can just copy. This is like simulating what the dialog box will do. Copy, paste. And does it pick it up? Yes, it does. Is 35, um, let's see, 52 minus... 11 is like 41, so sure enough, that value is less than. Now, I wouldn't want to leave those there, uh, but for illustration point that our formula does work, because sometimes it's easier to see in the cells. That's why we did that. Now, watch this. We're going to copy this. Control-C, Escape. I'm going to highlight the range. And the active cell right there is parallel to the formula we just copied. Now, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut alt OD that works in all versions. Alt OD, new rule, use formula, control V. Now I'm going to come down here and format this. Fill red, font color white. And I got my fingers crossed. Ah, looks good. And it's matching up with all the trues. Now we have one more. I'm going to cheat because this one needs to be above. So I'm going to say equals is this value right here greater than, just greater than, not the equal, because on the this category here, we have the equal sign, and I'm going to paste, hopefully. Oh, no, no. So I'm going to cheat and just put that right there. So we don't need that, and I don't need that. All right, this is on the upper end. So we're saying, is this value greater than the average plus one standard deviation? Uh, copy it down. Just check it down here. Sure enough, and I'm going to eye it. This one says true, so that means that 68, and 68 is bigger than like 52 plus 13. Dude, why is that changing? Do I have this data in? No. Oh, right, I was comparing that over there, sorry. All right, so we built this formula here, even though it's applying to this cell. So I'm going to copy this, Control-C in edit mode, and then come over here, Alt-O-D. Uh, Alt N for new rule, arrow, 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 tab, control V. And then I'm going to uh, click format, and this one's got to be that blue. Click OK, click OK, click OK. All right, so that's pretty wild. That's a lot of statistics there. But now that we have this, I'm going to um, right click and unminimize or use the keyboard shortcut control F1. That's a toggle for your ribbons. And now the trick is I have the same parallel size range for all these data sets selected. And I'm going to double click the Format Painter, double click. All right, And I'm very carefully going to click at the top of each one. And um, now I'm going to click Escape, succeed how the painter. I'm not going to click here, because then it will apply. That Format Painter still there. I'm going to click Escape. And now I'm going to come and look, OK? So this one applied to the upper end. And sure enough, um, oh, but that was for this one. 
but we can eye it, right? 69 is greater than 49 plus 11. That's true. So it looks like everything is working just fine. If we look just, just at this first one, we have the trues are all red. The blue ones indeed look bigger than this 52 plus 13, which would be about 65. So there you go. Uh, conditional format. Uh, plus or minus one standard deviation, above, below, create one formula, use the format painter to copy to separate columns using a logical formula and mixed cell references. All right, see you next video.